Welcome to the second lesson of learning. I believe that after completing the first lesson, everyone has gained a deeper understanding of our product. Next, I will lead you to the first application case of the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI series, products playing songs by connecting to Wi-Fi. Firstly, let's take a look at the results of this lesson together. After successfully connecting to Wi-Fi, the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI will attempt to connect to the URL link of an external song. After the connection is successful, wait for a while and you will be able to hear the song playing. Let's look at the implementation steps. This lesson is mainly divided into five parts for explanation. The first part is the introduction of the interface after the product is powered on. The second part is how is the functionality implemented through code? The third part is to add library files of different sizes. The fourth part is to connect the speaker module and burn the code. Part five, how to adjust the volume. Next. Let's start the first part of the learning. After successfully powering on the product, you can see a fixed user interface. This user interface was generated by introducing the official firmware of LVGL. Due to the relatively complex specific operational steps involved, we will not explain them in this lesson for the time being. In the next class, we will provide a detailed explanation of the LVGL graphics library, which will delve into the usage methods and techniques of the graphics library to help everyone better grasp the relevant knowledge. If you are interested in this area and want to learn systematically, please continue to follow our updates to avoid missing important course content. It should be noted that the current interface has not yet developed specific functions and only supports viewing interface content through sliding operations. However, in order to meet everyone's personalized needs, you can now choose the theme colors you want to use according to your preferences, making the interface more in line with your aesthetic. Next, we will study the second part. Open the materials we provided, open the course code, and open the code for the second lesson. There are two codes available for use here, 2.4 inches, 2.8 inches, 3.5 inches. Use small screen size code. 4.2 inches, 5.0 inches, 7.0 inches. Use code with large screen sizes. Here, I will take the 3.5 size as an example to introduce the construction of the code. This code defines the pin of the amplifier chip. Open the information we provided. Open the schematic diagram folder and view the 3.5 size schematic. It can be seen that the pin numbers defined in the code correspond exactly to these three pins of the amplifier chip of the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI product. Then set the, the Wi-Fi name and password you are currently using. After entering the setup function and setting the baud rate, looking at the schematic again, it can be seen that pin 14 corresponds to the MUTE mute pin and pin 21 corresponds to the sound turnoff pin. Pull pin 14 low, and finally input a low level to the MUTE pin. On the other hand, pin 21 is connected to an NPN transistor. Based on the characteristic of high-level conduction of NPN transistor, when pin 21 outputs a high level, the NPN transistor conducts and the SHUT pin is pulled down to a low level. Conversely, when pin 21 outputs a low level, the NPN transistor does not conduct and the SHUT pin is pulled up to a high level by a 10K resistor. So in the code, we give pin 14 a low level to keep it silent from the beginning, and pin 21 is given a high level to prevent noise from affecting it at the beginning. Next, set the Wi-Fi mode to station mode, add the Wi-Fi name and password, and then try to connect to Wi-Fi. If the connection fails, try connecting again. If the Wi-Fi connection is successful, we will start initializing the pins of our amplifier chip, setting the volume, and lowering pin 21 to turn on the sound. Then try to connect to the song link we have prepared. The setup function ends here, and now we enter the loop function. First, loop through each frame of the song represented by the link above and play the song normally. Next, when the serial port receives data, stop playing and read the data sent by the serial port which is the URL link represented above. 
This step allows you to switch songs. Next, I'll show you how to change a song with a URL link. We take Needy's Cloud Music website as an example. Open your browser and search for Nati's Cloud Music. Open Needy's Cloud Music and search for the song you want to listen to. For example, if you want to listen to Taylor Swift's Last Christmas, search for it. Then double click play to enter this interface. Check the web page bar. Copy down this ID number, replace the ID number in the code, upload the code again. You can hear the song you want to listen to. The reason why people do not use familiar music websites such as Spotify, Apple Music and YouTube Music to play songs is because most legitimate music streaming services only provide song page links or embedded player code to play music. To protect copyright, not providing direct download links in MP3 format, Distributing or obtaining MP3 download links directly may violate the terms of service and copyright laws of these platforms. So we didn't use it. We use Chinese music websites to play music here. If you want to use a music website that you are familiar with, just find a URL link in MP3 format similar to the one in the code and replace it. The code explained is over. In order for the code to run properly, we also need to add corresponding library files according to different sizes. Open the information we provided and open the Arduino. Lib series libraries. Using the 3.5 inch screen as an example, I chose to copy the library file for the 3.5 inch screen. Open the following path. Delete the libraries folder under that path. Paste the libraries advanced 3.5 folder we just copied into that path and change the folder name to Libraries. Close all open Arduino IDA programs and then use Arduino IDE again to open the code for this lesson. This completes the configuration of the library file. Now that all the preparation work is done, connect the speaker to the SPK interface of the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI and configure the runtime environment for the code. If you forget how to configure it, you can review the first lesson. After burning the code and waiting for a while, you will be able to hear the song you want to listen to play through the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI. Finally, how do we adjust the volume of a song? Open the schematic diagram file and view the schematic diagram of the corresponding size you use. You can see that there is an R50 adjustable resistor here which can be rotated on the back of the product to change the size of the resistor and thus change the size of the sound. That's all for now. If this class has been helpful to you, we hope you can give us feedback and encouragement. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.